Lions TV, we are sponsored by Regal Elevators and Lifts Consultants Limited, a company that is owned and operated by a Millwall fan, just like every other one of our sponsors this season. If you are going to do a bit of business, then please keep it in the Millwall family and check out all of our sponsors' website links in the description below. Now, this is your pre-match prediction for Friday's home game against Brentford, a London derby at the Den on Good Friday, a 1pm kickoff. A game that we can definitely win. And do you know what? I think we're going to do it. Let's start out by taking a look at the 11 that I think Neil Harris will pick to start the match. So near enough for the whole of this channel's existence, we've played 4-4-2, so I'm sort of set on autopilot for the intro. But as well as the starting 11 now, we need to look at what formation the manager could possibly play. There's, there's a chance he could play 3-5-1-1. There's a chance he could play 4-4-2. There's a chance he could play 4-5-1. What do you think the gaffer's going to go with? I've got an horrible feeling he's going to go for a 4-4-2. I think it's going to be Dave Martin in goal. Marlon Romeo right back. Shane Ferguson left back. Jake Cooper with Alex Pierce alongside him. I think you're going to see Jed Wallace on right midfield. Ben Marshall left midfield. Ben Thompson and Ryan Leonard central midfield. And up front, Big T, Tom Elliott and Lee Gregory. I've just got a feeling he's going to go 4-4-2. Especially after the way we performed in 4-4-2. On Saturday at Sheffield United, and the difference Tom Elliott did make when he came on. Predominantly, Harris goes 4 5 1 when, when, we, when we're playing a side that we're expecting to come at us and where we're expecting to do a little bit more defending and pick them off, pick them off on a break. Uh, we seem to go for 4 4 2 in games that Harris thinks we can win, games that will be, you know, physical. And, and a bit scrappy, and it being a London derby against mid-table Brentford, I think that's exactly what Friday's affair is going to be. So I think you'll go with 4-4-2. Would I go for 4-4-2? No, I'd go for 4-5-1, but almost have that as a 4-3-3 and go very attacking. I think you'll play Leonard and, and Thompson. He has to play Thompson. He has no other choice than to play Thompson. Uh, I think you'll favour Ryan Leonard in front of Ryan Tunneycliffe alongside him. Is that what I'd do? No, if I had to choose one of those two, I'd probably go with Tunnicliffe. I personally think you'll definitely see Conor McLaughlin drop out if it does go back to 4-4-2. And I think you'll see Ben Marshall come back into the team in left midfield. Uh, I didn't touch on it Saturday, but I said Jed's deliveries were shocking. And, and Fergie looks a bit rusty. His deliveries weren't great. And, and fair play to the manager for bringing on Marshall when he did. I know he missed the penalty, but his crosses, which obviously led to the equaliser. And partly before that, we started to get a lot of balls into the box due to bringing on Marshall for a good delivery. So on that basis, I think Marshall will start. And up front, Lee Gregory, loving to death, works his nuts off, but he looks a little bit lost up there lately by himself. He looks like he needs a bit of help. I'm not saying go to a 4-4-2, but I, I, I can fully understand if the manager does decide to go with Tom Elliott, why he does it. One, as I said, Gregory looks like he needs help, and, and Tom Elliott, after his performance against Sheffield United, perhaps deserves a start. So let's move on to our opposition, of course. It is our London rivals, Brentford, managed by Thomas Frank, he got the gig earlier in the season, obviously, after being Dean Smith's assistant for two years. Dean Smith leaves for Aston Villa, and Thomas Frank gets the job. They've not been doing too fantastic under him as of late. They have won only one of their last seven league games. You know, and no disrespect to their opponents on that day, it was Eastwich Town who have gone down rock bottom of the league. Brentford currently sit 15th in the table. It's a little bit of a, it could help me either way this one. They're sort of mid-table, they can't make the playoffs, they can't get relegated. So will their players already have one foot on the beach for the summer? Or will they have nothing to play for so they can just, you know, play with, without any fear and full of confidence? I'm hoping it is the earlier. The one to watch for them is Neil Malpay. Brentford's French striker has got three goals in his last three games. And he will be the danger on Friday at the Den. So this is your pre-match prediction, and here we go. Michael Fish has told me that the sun will be shining in South Bermondsey on Friday. It's going to be over 20 degrees, so hopefully that, coupled in with it being a London derby and a must-win game for us, will draw the crowds, will get behind the team. We're going to win the game by two goals to nil, with goals from Jed Wallace and Lee Gregory, and that should almost... Almost, in my opinion, see us safe. Just before we wrap up, there is only four days left to vote for us in the Football Blogging Awards 2019. We are in a category of Best Club Content Creator. And if you could take a minute out of your day to vote for us, that would be great. You can vote on Instagram, you can vote on Twitter, and you can also vote on their website. I'll put the link in the description below. Click on the website link, go to the first category, which is Best Club Content Creator, and you click on our name from the Dropbox, Lions TV, job done. It takes 10 seconds of your day took me longer to tell you about it. So that's your lot for this pre-match prediction. Hope to see you at the end of Friday. We're going to get three points. We're going to get out of this shit, I'm telling you. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.